Hi, welcome to boardshop.co.uk. Uh, surfboard review time, but in a slightly different format. We're looking at the small wave attack from the LibTech brand. Now, the reason we do this is there's a few different boards that are all designed for the same sort of wave range, and this is designed to help you choose one that's most suitable to what you need. A little bit about LibTech first, sure you've heard of it, but in case you haven't, they make surfboards and snowboards, have done for years, very, very uh, innovative in the, the technology the, they use to build boards. So their, ta their catchphrase is darn difficult to ding, they're tough, but also their envir environmental awareness in the production process is incredible. It's head and shoulders above everybody else. There are so many different processes they use um, in the production of their boards to make sure they have a li as little impact as possible on the environment. Have a look on the website, ours all theirs, uh, and it'll explain. <clears throat> I could be here for weeks explaining in detail what they get up to, but it is quite impressive. So the LibTech brand, snowboards and surfboards, um, the construction is brilliant for many reasons. As the brand has evolved, with each generation of boards, they add new features, new bits of technology, and the boards just get better and better in surfing terms. And certainly the small wave boards are among the most popular in their range. So the first one we're gonna start with is this one, the Freak Flag Bean Bag. Clues in the name, another Lost Surfboards collab, the bean bag being a, a long established Lost model, and this has been given the LibTech treatment. <coughs> you can tell by its shape, that round nose, rounded tail, volume, flat rocker, low entry rocker, nose and tail, it's a small wave destroyer. Basically it's like a, a mini longboard. It will go in anything, but the great benefit of this over a longboard is that one, it'll fit in your car easily, but two, the little kick in the tail there as you pull it in, and just enough rocker in the nose means like the original Lost Bean Bag, you can actually move it around a, a, a bit as well. Kind of like a big skin board. It's very um, curvy in its outline, so it sits kind of in the pocket in little waves really nicely, but it's very quick to go to rail to rail, um, which is what you want, as well as being a great paddler. So that's the first of their options. Um, a real gutless wave destroyer, uh, the Freak Flag Bean Bag. Next on the menu, excuse me while I swap boards, is the Hydra, which is a much newer shape from both Loss. Wasn't meant to happen like that. A newer shape from Lost and from LibTech. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Look at that tail. That combined with the pulled in nose and this really deep scooped out concave all the way through the board means that this board generates speed straight off the bat really quickly, which is one of the most um, important and essential factors when surfing small waves. You need the board to get up on the plane and accelerate really quick, and the Hydra certainly does that. With all that surface area at the back, in the tail area, it carries the speed really well, and it paddles well too. The really surprising thing about the Hydra is that it holds in better waves. If you get a rogue set, or it's a bit punchier, or a bit bigger than it looks from the beach, the Hydra's at home. Anything up to like shoulder head high, even if it's got a bit of punch to it, the Hydra deals with it really well. That nice straight rail line there gives it a lot of hold and drive. And, and I guess that's in part one of the main reasons why it does work in slightly better waves. There's enough nose rocker there to keep it loose and maneuverable. And the tail, yeah, that's just crazy, isn't it? But there we are. So that's the Hydra. The next is a board that you will definitely have heard of and probably owned at one time or another. And that's the Puddle Jumper. Still the benchmark groveler in many people's minds. And in the LibTech treatment, where it's got that extra little bit of stiffness and what have you, it works really, really well. Still one of the best selling boards for board shop to this very day, with good reason. <coughs> it's, it generates so much lift <coughs> so quickly in poor waves. And with that little bump tail on the squash, you can get it turning too. Again, really flat in true, rocker, in true groveler style, just enough lift in the nose again, but it's still very, very hard to beat in anything from the knee to kind of just chest high sort of range. It's speedy, 
it gets squirts of acceleration to carry through the flat sections. It's just a really good fun all round board. For a lot of people, <clears throat> it can easily be our one ball quiver um, for 90% of the ways you're ever gonna come across. Still very hard to beat and still really popular in the lost range as well. <laughs> Next up, the puddle fish. <laughs> Obviously carrying the puddle jumper DNA, but with a swallowtail. Kind of a swallowtail. A mental channel running through into the swallowtail as well. So what this gives you is all the, the good aspects of the puddle jumper. Set it up as a quad or as a twin or as a two plus one, which especially in weaker waves, the two plus one gives you real lift. And the thing absolutely flies. <clears throat> it goes rail to rail so quickly and smoothly. The downside is that because it's flat, when the waves get a bit punchier, it's really hard to get on a rail and move um, quickly enough to deal with those faster waves, punchier waves. So again, in the small wave range, if you've got like a nice beachy at the end of your road or something, or somewhere you surf regularly that's you know always below shoulder high, but the wave's quite fast and pacey, then um, the puddlefish is a really, really good option. <coughs> Last but not least, is the pickup stick. Libtex version of a mid-length, I won't get it out because the other one's lying on it, look. But all the great attributes of a mid-length, easy paddling, early wave entry, competes well in crowded lineups, goes really well. Um, really nice tone of blue on the board as well. I really like that. Um, if you're looking at general mid-lengths and you're looking at something with extra durability, longevity, and with that environmental nod, don't forget the pickup stick. It comes in 6.6 six all the way up to 8.0, so a length for everybody, a brilliant board. So there it is, LibTech Small Wave Attack. Um, hope you liked it. Any questions, you know where we are, drop us an email, give us a ring. Norp Send Finance, trade in your old board. Um, <coughs> signed pictures of me, all available online right now. Thank you.